UFOs are real, burgeoning, not going away. I am your intrepid host, Ilya Marzulli. Welcome to a very special UFO update. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Combergas UFO. I think you'll find this interesting, but first, a word from our trusted sponsor. There's a revolution happening right above our heads. It's about to make silver more precious than ever. The sun's power is taking over the world. It's growing so fast, it'll be the biggest source of electricity by the 2030s. Folks, we're talking about solar. Here's the kicker. Every single solar panel needs silver to work. We're talking about a silver paste web in every panel, turning sunlight into power. Smart investors are already making their move. And that's where Noble Gold Investments comes in. With a silver IRA, you can surf this incredible wave of growth. It doesn't matter who sits in the White House or what Wall Street does. Solar power is unstoppable. And silver is its secret weapon. As the world goes green, your retirement could be going sterling silver. Don't let this opportunity slip through your fingers in 2024. Folks, visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Please remember there is always a risk with any type of an investment. There's no guarantee. But if you invest now, you may get up to 10 free brand new one ounce silver Trump coins or a 10 ounce silver American flag bar with every qualifying IRA. Folks, noblegoldinvestments.com, noblegoldinvestments.com. Uh, this is from Tobias. Thank you so much for writing in, Tobias. I really appreciate it. So he writes, um, L.A., it is with deep thanks that I write today. I have followed your work for probably 15 years, and you have given me puzzle pieces that no one else could provide. Well, I appreciate the kind words. Thank you, sir. Especially the important fact that, in my opinion, demons and aliens are one and the same. This is controversial. It's a very controversial statement. But as a Christian, I do not believe that what we are seeing are friendly entities, space brothers from some faraway planet. They have a very nefarious agenda. Um, I'm not invited to uh, UFO conferences anymore by by New Agers, and I totally understand that because I have a completely different paradigm. And my first lead-off question to some of these folks are, how many of you think it's okay to take a five-year-old boy and implant him with a metallic implant? Take a five-year-old boy in the dead of night against his parents' wishes and implant him with a metallic. Anybody, anybody think that that's okay? Not a hand goes up. Not a hand goes up. And I go, you've already proven my point. I should just go home now. Because this, this whole phenomenon is, in my opinion, has a very dark, nefarious agenda that ties into the, the biblical prophetic narrative, specifically Genesis 3.15, Daniel 2.43. Do your homework, look that stuff up. By the way, we have 10 films on the UFO phenomena. We're the only Christian ministry to have 10 films on it. Everything from Close Encounters of the First, Second, Third, Fourth Kind. We talk about the Combergas UFO in it. Um, and Gil Zimmerman and I, you know, did these. We labored over them because the Lord told us to get these things out, and we have. So we've got 10 films. Uh, one is on abductions. Another one is on crop circles, cat mutilations, Roswell 1, Roswell 2. Finally, what is the truth? Where we sit down with people on both sides of the aisle and say, you know, what, what are we looking at here? Al Matthews in number four on abductions looks right at the camera and says, these are not our friendly space brothers. And he would know because he was taken, just like Emil, who was another person that we interviewed. Both of these men were abducted very early. Karen Wilkinson, we published her book, um, and Stolen Seed Evil Harvest. This is what's going on. It all hails back to Genesis 3.15. If you were going to keep one scripture from people, that's the scripture you keep. Because then they never understand what's really going on. But I digress as usual. I have been watching some of your streaming series, and tonight, during the best of watches, finally saw the footage you have of the Combergas UFO. What are you waiting for? Shameless plug. Spoiler alert. You need to go right now, right after this show, and you need to, you need to rent Best of Watchers, and you can see it for yourself. I'm going to show you a little clip I did, which is in one of our UFO films, but uh, we'll get into that. Um, I have waited a long time to see more footage than I had seen previously, but was quite surprised that none of those involved with analyzing the images 
could get the occupants to visually stand out. My surprise was due to the fact that I personally, some years ago, simply took screenshots of the craft off YouTube and through simple Photoshop adjustments, curves, and sharpening, uh, got some of the most shocking and obvious images I have yet seen of the occupants of his craft. I am not sure why it would just be. He continues on from there. These images have been so valuable to me over the years, especially as a valuable tool to help others see with their own eyes what is undeniably demons in a spaceship. I think you will know what I mean when you see my screenshots. Everyone I have shown my screenshots to agree that it is virtually impossible to deny the fact that we are dealing with some sort of demonic entities. Once you see the images, I look forward to your comments. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the Combergas UFO footage. Here we go. Richard Shaw, I am a 10 film of the Watcher series. Rick was the director and producer of the series. It'll be two years this coming August since Rick passed very unexpectedly. In all of those films, we featured Dr. Roger Lear. Dr. Lear was a podiatrist. He was also one of the first people ever to extract what we believe is an alien implant. And we show that in one of the films. The following clip that you're about to see was taken in Dr. Roger Lear's office, and Dr. Roger is talking about his encounter with a UFO in Turkey. In my opinion, this is the best UFO footage ever taken. So here we go, it's folks. It's such uh, phenomenal footage. It's not, not been labeled by me, uh, but it's been labeled by uh, not only video analysts, but researchers in the field as being the best I agree. Uh, uh, f f photography of a UFO and its occupants. I, I agree. I, I concur. And, and don't you think also that as a matter of habit or, or whatever it may be that when people see things and it looks too good, they say it can't be real. True. Cognitive dissonance kicks in. Right. I can't be looking at what I think no. I'm looking at. No. So here we go. I realize there's some glare here and I apologize for that. But there's the shot. Tobias took some of the stills that you can see here, or he cropped in, stopped the footage, cropped in, and this is what we get. You tell me what we're looking at. You tell me what that looks like. It's something out of someone's nightmare. Now, I get that other people will completely disagree with that and say, you know, you're just putting, or I'm just putting my worldview on what looks demonic, but for all we know, it might not be demonic. It could be something, we are our space brothers. I'm not buying that for a second. I'm entitled to my opinion. Those on the other side of the aisle are entitled to theirs. And we will eventually find out what is the truth. But as we look at this, folks, in my opinion, what we are looking at here, these are the fallen ones. And this is what they might actually look like. And this is really incredible footage taken by the late Dr. Roger Lear. There are those who insist that the Combergas UFO film is is fake. Again, in our best of watches, Richard got the original footage from Dr. Roger Lear, my, my late business partner, Richard Shaw, got the original footage from Dr. Roger Lear. He was the one that went in and discovered that there seemed to be a third entity going in and out. Um, and the reason why he got this is he slowed the footage down. So the footage is real. Um, you can do with that what you will. I show it at conferences. I still maintain it as the best UFO footage ever taken, because not only does it show it the craft, but as you can see, it shows the occupants of the craft. So that's it. Um, lots to talk about. The phenomenon is not going away. Um, thanks for watching. I, I can't possibly leave here without telling you about Rungs of Disclosure, because this has to do, this book has everything to do with the entire UFO phenomenon, as you can see here by the cover. And folks, it'll be released sometime in October. We're doing a presale, Um It does a deep dive in the very last chapter. Now, I'm not saying we're done climbing up the rungs of the ladder of disclosure, but I will tell you what the end game is, and it is full disclosure of the so-called extraterrestrial presence. I would admonish you, if you believe in what we're doing here, because we've got a pre-sale right now,
Get one book for yourself, one book for a loved one in your family, one book for your pastor. Folks, this needs to go viral because meanwhile, um, the other side of the aisle are ramping up like you can't believe. And they are disparaging the Christian paradigm in regard to the burgeoning UFO phenomena. It's not going to go away. And the last chapter of the book gives you what I think is the end game. I also teamed up with Leadership Books. I was just up in Reno. I did a 15 uh, uh, part series. It's a lecture series. It'll come with an outline, a study guide. It's all on video. It'll be along with the book. So that's coming up too. We are really excited about this book. This book in some ways is the culmination of, of decades of research. And I got to tell you this, folks, that uh, we had some friends over here for dinner last night. And um, I was talking to a fellow author, Carl Teitrib. And Bill Salvas was here and Mondo Gonzalez and his lovely wife and, and Audrey and Brian. Brian and Audrey were over here also. So we had a house full of people, about eight of us, had a wonderful little barbecue. And, and anyway, we were talking and uh, Carl Teicher was saying that in some ways he's he shot his watch, just like I have. This book is a culmination of decades of research combined with, and we will be doing combinations with all 10 of our UFO series. Everything from close encounters with the first, second, third, fourth kind, abductions, crop circles, um, cattle mutilations, Roswell 1 and 2. Was it a weather balloon? Of course not. Of course not. We went out to the debris field. We found two pieces of metal. Finally, what is the truth? What are we really looking at here? Is this the coming great deception? In my opinion, it is. So don't forget, you can stream all 10 by going to streaming.lamarzulli.net, streaming.lamarzulli.net. The pre-sale is on right now. You get $5 off plus an autographed copy. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Hit the subscribe button and the bell. Remember, the UFO phenomenon is real burgeoning and not going away. Hey folks, Elian Marzulli here. I've got book number 14 coming out. It's being published by Charisma Media. It's called Rungs of Disclosure. Let me whet your appetite. What is it, 77 years ago, something happened in Roswell, New Mexico? Was it really a weather balloon or was it something else? Folks, one of the very first chapters in that book delves into the whole Roswell event. What I think happened there was a cover-up, and it began the deliberate obfuscation that continued until 2017. And Tucker Carlson asked Commander David Fravor, in your opinion, what was this tic-tac-shaped UFO that you saw? Commander David Fravor looks right at the camera and says, whatever this was, was not from this earth. That's the nexus. That's the beginning of the Rungs of Disclosure book. I think it's the most important book I've ever penned. Go to lamarzulli.com, lamarzulli.com. You can pre-order the book, save five bucks, and that book will be autographed by yours truly. Don't forget, folks, UFOs are real, burgeoning, and not going away. In my opinion, this is the coming great deception that Jesus warns us about.